from the Detroit Free Press. I'm Brian Todd with today's voice briefing. It's Monday, November 18th, 2024. I'm Susan Tompor, and I'm a columnist at the Detroit Free Press. Most retirees in the country heard President-elect Donald Trump promise to eliminate taxes on Social Security benefits. This was a big pitch during the 2024 presidential campaign. But retirees should think twice before rushing to reduce their tax withholdings on Social Security checks for 2025. Tax professionals see plenty of hurdles before Congress can act to eliminate these taxes. Right now, about 40 percent of people who collect Social Security benefits end up having to pay income taxes on a portion of those benefits. For example, for single filers, the threshold when you have to pay taxes on up to 50 percent of your Social Security benefits applies when your combined income is between $25,000 and $30,000. $4,000 a year. But once that combined income is higher, you could pay taxes on up to 85% of benefits. We're bound to see all sorts of confusing headlines relating to tax planning for 2025. But right now, it's hard to make any moves, including eliminating or reducing your Social Security income tax withholdings for next year. It's key to remember that Congress could have a long battle with this type of change. And it's also important to know that this has been proposed in the past and it has failed. For the Detroit Free Press Autos team, I'm Jamie LaRoe. Consumer demand for new and used vehicles bounced back in October after a slight dip in September as prices continue to drop. Car Gurus, an online new and used vehicle shopping site, released its U.S. October intelligence report. In it, data showed that dealers' stock of new cars has been increasing, while used vehicle inventory levels appear to be stabilizing. The shift in supply and stronger-than-expected consumer demand in the second half have brought down the average used vehicle listing price to $28,200. That's 5% lower than a year ago and it's $200 lower than the average listing price in September. The average listing price for a new vehicle last month was $49,700. That's down by $1,000 compared with a year ago. Because of the wide gap in the average listing price for a new car compared with a used car, used vehicles are selling faster than new. And the number of certified pre-owned vehicles are rising, given customers want the assurance of a new car without the high price tag. For more details on car buying trends, visit Freep.com. This is Christina Hall with the Detroit Free Press. An Oakland County woman is facing criminal charges after authorities removed just over three dozen animals from her Pontiac home in September during an investigation for animal cruelty in an unregistered shelter operation. Carmen Shuley was charged with failure to provide adequate care to 25 or more animals, a felony, and operating an unregistered animal shelter, a misdemeanor, Oakland County officials announced this week. Shuley also is facing charges in neighboring Macomb County, where six dogs were in legal limbo and in the care of Macomb County animal control for nearly a year. The puppies initially came from Shuley's Tri-County Dog Rescue in Pontiac and eventually were adopted this year. In the Oakland County case, 29 dogs and eight cats were removed from her residence in September. One cat was euthanized. The remaining animals are under the care of the Oakland County Animal Shelter and Pet Adoption Center, but are not available for adoption because of the pending court matter. Oakland County officials say animal control officers found the animals living in, quote, abusive and neglectful conditions. Shuley says all the dogs were in good condition, adding in an email to the Free Press on Wednesday, quote, I go out of my way to care for them, end quote. She says officials seized her registered service dog and emotional support animals. She told the Free Press in September the removal was totally unexpected, adding that she recorded it and would be getting an attorney involved. Find more from Detroit Free Press on Freep.com. That's F-R-E-E-P.com. Thanks for listening, and you'll hear more from us tomorrow.